It's Game 3 of the Illinois West Hockey Semifinals. Nequa Valley won Game 1 by a score of 3-2, and the Warriors responded with a 2-1 win in Game 2. The winner of this game advances to the finals against Maine. We start this game not even a minute in as Evan Ziegler picks the puck up down low and stick handles around Aiden Weisselglad to find the back of the net. Warriors up early on. A couple of minutes later and James Navsiger finds himself in on the breakaway, but Aiden Weisselglad poke checks the puck away, shutting down the opportunity. Warriors on the power play with three minutes left in the first. Josh Pianowski picks up a loose puck and fires on net, beating Weisselglad. The Warriors go into the second period with a 2-0 lead. Five minutes into the second period and it's Nikwa's turn on the attack. Nathan Santos brings the puck out in front and his wrist shot beats Jack Poitamani cutting the Warriors lead in half. Green and gold look for the instant response as Evan Ziegler breaks up a play and finds himself in on goal but he's robbed by the glove of Aiden Wysoglad. Just under six minutes to play in the period, Dylan McRae carries the puck into the zone and shoots, but his shot rings off of the post and is eventually covered by Poitamani. The Warriors continue to be dangerous in this period, as Matthew Shield is in on the breakaway now, but once again Aiden Weisselglad is there to deny the chance. The home team starts the third period strong. Kyler Campfield has a shot from the point that is tipped by Joe Pianowski, but Aiden Weisselglad is there to make the save and cover. Wildcats still looking for the equalizer. Dylan McRae finds the loose puck and his one-time effort on net is caught by the glove of Jack Poitamani. Nico is still pushing for the tying goal. Nathan Santos has a shot from the point that is blocked, but finding the puck out in front is Rocco Romita who is denied not once but twice by Poitamani. Final seconds of the game, off of the faceoff the puck slides into the middle but Evan Ziegler is there to ice the puck with 0.2 seconds on the clock. The following faceoff is won cleanly by Trenton Fisk, but there simply isn't enough time on the clock. The Warriors hold on and win game 3 by a score of 2-1. The green and gold advances to the Illinois West Finals against Maine. Oh, it was close, just down to the last minute, unbelievable. Every game was down the wire, a uh, few close ones at the very end. It was, it was a great series, hard fought. Well, we're, we're excited, you know, uh, Friday night's going to be at their bar and up. We're more than excited. Uh, we played them last year in the finals, we're going to get our revenge this year and take it home. There's nothing more that you could ask for, you know. The one goal games are the ones that you like the most because it's from the start to the finish, you don't know what's going to happen. And that's what happened this series. You know, we came out on top from the first game, but then we didn't get the bounces that we liked and didn't get the outcomes that we wanted. You know, it felt good to get that game winning goal and just overall knock Nico out of the end their season in general. You know, we beat them the last five years, but this year was a little different. They came out every game, they gave us a good fight, but yeah. I think the, the community of high school hockey is really great. Like, all the boys, we always hang out, always get, get food to eat. Every day at school, you know, it's a great community. You see the boys every day at practice and games, so we miss it. We played Wubanzi a lot this season. We actually beat them three times in a row, and it's it's pretty hard to beat a team three times in a row, maybe more than that. So we like after the second game, after the loss, we knew that just to, today we had to play loose, have fun, and just not take anything for granted and just go out and have fun.